Tom from Wisconsin here, back for another episode of Everything Air Guns. Uh, let's see. Uh, last week, one night, I ran out of dog food. I forgot to go get dog food during the day, so I had to run out in the middle of the night and get some uh, gas station dog food. So they ended up getting, uh, they usually eat the dry dog food, but special occasion for them, I guess. I had to get them some canned dog food that night. So anyway, I had these cool uh, steel food cans. Here's two dog food ones, and then I happen to have another, I don't know, rice and beans or something I ate the other day. So I got three steel cans. And one still got the top on it from the rice and beans, so I'm going to take a couple guns, and I'm going to first uh, shoot that top. And then uh, if it makes it through that top, Oh, at least a BB gun. Uh, here, here's what we're gonna do. So I want to shoot these guns at the steel cans. I'm gonna start off with the C11, or actually, I think my weakest gun actually is uh, the AK. So I'll start with the AK. That shoots like 430 feet per second, and uh, the C11 actually shoots 480 and on a fresh uh, CO2 can even get up to 500 feet per second so actually my weakest gun is going to be that uh, AK-1 shooting BBs so I'm going to shoot a BB at, at the uh, top anyway the top of the uh, steel can that was kind of hanging up and if it goes through then I'll shoot the steel cans themselves and see how far it goes. Like I said, I got three, so six layers, kind of. And anyway, after I do that, I'll repeat that with uh, the C11. And then I want to put some pointed pellets into the Vigilante. And the pellets I want to put in there today... Both pointed pellets. Um, I got daisies, which are the ones that I usually shoot out of that gun. But I want to try these uh, crossmans in it too. There, those two pellets are side by side. So the one on the left is the daisy. The one on the right is the crossman. I don't know why. Uh, I feel like the crossmans might be a little bit more harder of a pellet. I think that I feel like the daisies might be a softer pellet. I don't know if that's accurate or not. That's just kind of how I feel. So anyway, I want to test them against each other and see which one will penetrate further. And then if I didn't get anything to shoot all the way through those cans, I'm gonna try whichever pellet does best between the daisy and the crossman. And I'll put it in this F4 brake barrel and see if that can make it through all of them. I have no idea what's going to happen here, so let's get to work and find out. Alright, so first I want to um, shoot that top that's kind of sticking up. Because I figure if I can't make it through that, then uh, I'm not going to bother shooting at the thicker sides. So I'm going to take the AK-1 first and shoot to that top. And if it makes it through that, I will shoot another one through the cans. Here we go. Alright, so that was the AK-1, and uh, it did not make it through that top, so I don't think there's any way it's going to go through the sides, because the sides, I believe, are thicker than the top. So we're done with the AK-1. Next gun, um, Crossman C-11, same thing. I'm going to shoot through the top first. If it goes through the top, then I will shoot through uh, the sides.
Here we go, C11. This time I believe I hit it down here, but as you can see, it did not go through. So I'll be done with the C11. I'm going to try the Vigilante now. Same thing. All right, first the Daisy pointed out of the Vigilante, then the Crosswind pointed out of the Vigilante. Still aiming for that top to see if it'll make it through there. All right, uh, none of them made it through that top. So, I'm going to get out the F4 now and just shoot straight on into the cans and see what that 4 can do. I got a lot more confidence in the F4. Let's see what that does. Well, since we're having trouble so far, <clears throat> I'm going to skip uh, the lead altogether. I'm going to go to uh, my best penetrating pellets in 177, which would be these black, or I'm sorry, silent cats. Let's see if we can get a grain on them. All right, the uh, silent cats are 10.5 grain. And I'm also going to try these uh, gold flights. And those are 8.5 grain. Give you a quick side by side here. Alright, to the left there you got the silent cat. Once again, that's 10.5 grain. And to the right we got the Crossman gold flight. 8.5 grains. All right, here we go. And try that uh, silent cat first. All right. So, what we got here is it went through, uh, went through the first can and out the back and then it dinged the second can. I don't know if you can see that there. It's right about there. It dinged it, but it didn't go through it. And it sent my pellet going sideways that time. Didn't go in the trap that time. But nothing got hurt or anything. <laughs> um, Alright, so I'm going to try one more time with one of my favorite pellets. Those are uh, fast flights. Or I'm sorry, they're not fast flights. They're uh, gold flights, which are similar to the red flights. Uh, shoot through metal pretty good, so this will probably be the, the best one coming up next. All right, hang tight. I just went ahead and threw a little tape over the old holes, so we can be sure not to. We can be sure to know where we already went through. So I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna spin it a little bit anyhow. Let's see if I'm gonna go this way. All right, last one. Crossman Gold Flight. Hopefully, we get uh, through a couple cans here. <laughs>
see we made it through a uh, first layer of that first can. And we have an exit hole here. Focus that up for you. Get my hand steady here. Alright, there's that. Ooh, second can. Went in on the W. Right near the W. Let's see what happened in the back. Ooh, still going. Oh, it looks like. Let me see here. So that there in the back, the exit. Oh yeah, that is that the pellet? Oh yeah, that was. Okay, that was the the sable tip of the pellet. Now it just fell out. The case is floating around in the middle of the can, the skirt or whatever you want to call it. But that uh the front end of that pellet was actually stuck in a the back of that can there just fell out. I don't know if you saw it before it was there, and now it's not there. Now it's a hole. So it did not uh, touch the third can, though. That's where it ended. All right, pretty cool. It's been everything air guns. It's myself, Tom from Wisconsin. Hope you enjoyed.